It's almost midnight here on Sunday night, and most of you guys are probably in bed by now, but Ole Miss just got a football commit for the class of 2025, and this is a huge town commit for the Ole Miss Rebels. Four-star receiver Jerome Miles has announced he is coming to Ole Miss. So Jerome Miles is listed as six foot two, weighs 205. His rankings, and this is according to 247 Sports, he is the 193rd best part in the country, the 18th best receiver in the country, and also the second best player in Utah class of 2025. Now, I just mentioned he is from Utah. He's actually from Draper, Utah. Guess who else is from Draper, Utah? Well, if you said Jadson Dart, you're correct. The Ole Miss starting quarterback, Jadson Dart, is also from Draper, Utah. Kind of a pretty interesting fact. That's something you guys may not know about. But I will say this to Will, too, on camera. Of course, when you're talking recruiting, when you're talking Ole Miss football recruiting, of course, Coach Kiffin gets a lot of credit for what he does recruiting. And yes, he deserves a lot of credit for what Coach Kiffin has done recruiting at Ole Miss the last couple of years. Of course, you're going to hear Coach Golden's name get brought up a lot too. And of course, Coach, of course, Coach Golden has done one heck of a job recruiting as well too. But one guy who deserves more love is Jadson Dart. And I will say this, uh, Jerome was a guy, he was on campus this week at Ole Miss, and him and Jadson had a great bond. Had just connected just right off the bat, had an awesome time. And of course, once again, for this recruitment, of course, Coach Kiffin gets a lot of credit. Other coaches out there deserve credit as well too for getting this commitment with Jerome. But Jadson Dark gets just as much credit as anybody else this weekend recruiting Jerome Miles. And I'll even say this on camera. Um, you know, I'll have some of the players come on this channel time to time. And some of these guys even admitted on camera. Some of these guys admitted off the air but Jadson Dart has got several guys to come to Ole Miss. If it was, you know, this year, if it was last year, he, there's been a bunch of guys he has convinced to come to Ole Miss. He has made some great bonds, has made some great relationships. Just, just like in a weekend visit, just in one day, he has made a great impression to these high school recruits these transfers and if it's you know if it's him playing video games or whatever it is i'm sure you guys probably heard some of the stories but it's kind of it's kind of funny but he does play video games for those who don't know and he's made some great relationships and just made some good bonds over video games but jadson dart deserves a lot of credit for what he has done this weekend and even in the past as well, too. But, you know, moving on, a uh, couple more things I will mention and talk about. So, once again, this is the kid, uh, of course, came to Ole Miss this weekend. I do believe this was his first Ole Miss visit. I don't think he's ever been to Ole Miss before in the past. I could be wrong about that. He could have came to a game sometime last year. Could He could have came some other time in the past, but I believe – this past weekend was the first time ever coming to Ole Miss. Um, he does have a couple more visits lined up here in the future. Uh, he will be taking a visit to Arkansas. I saw California mention, and of course, his home state, uh, Utah, is a couple upcoming visits. So, of course, the kid is committed to Ole Miss right now, but still a couple more uh, visits coming up pretty soon possibility he could cancel these visits but at at this moment in time uh no public no public announcement so far if he will uh visit these schools but uh but last year you look at his stats his stats are not the most impressive stats 
But for those who don't know, this kid, he was injured, missed a lot of the season. He was actually injured in week two of the season. Um, kind of came back pretty late in the season. But the games he played in this past year, did some pretty good things, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, this year, only played in a couple games, but still had 19 catches, 486 yards, six touchdowns as well, too. Uh, the last couple games of the season in the playoffs were definitely his best games for sure. Uh, but also, I was reading the article as well, too, and I forgot who it was now, but somebody was asking Jerome questions of, like, how do you think you'll fit in the Ole Miss offense? How will Ole Miss use you? And basically, just kind of what Jerome was talking about was the way he will be used here at Ole Miss is how DK Metcalf was used at Ole Miss. This is the kid who plans on playing on the outside, will not be playing on the inside, will be playing on the outside as an outside receiver. And this is the guy, look, once again, this is a young guy. He's still growing. I think there's probably a good possibility he can still grow another inch or two, maybe three. By the time he comes to Ole Miss, the kid could be, Six four, it could be six five. Who knows? And I'm gonna say probably a good chance. Probably gonna put on some more weight. This is the kid has put on some weight the last couple of years, and I would say probably a good possibility he could put on another ten or twenty pounds by the time he arrives at Ole Miss. But once again, we'll be playing on the outside. Very athletic receiver. Uh, speed is definitely one of his strengths. Very fast guy. Down the field, very impressive speed down the field. Devil has very good separation as well, too, because of his speed. Uh, this is the kid as well, too. Very strong guy. One of the strongest guys in his area the last couple of years. Um, what the kid can bench press and squat and everything, it's it's impressive. It's ridiculous. Super strong kid. Um, guy wins a 50-50 balls. Good route runner, just overall, just a very good, talented receiver coming to Ole Miss. And I do believe, of course, this is my opinion here. I do believe it is a good shot. This kid will continue to move up in the rankings. By the time his high school career is over next year, if this kid is a top 125 recruit in the country, I would not be surprised. Very, very high on this kid. Love his game, love his film. I think Ole Miss is getting a huge town pickup with Jerome Miles. Of course, once again, it's going to be a battle, you know, keeping this commitment just because he still has a couple of visits lined up. There are some other schools he's interested in as well, too, from what I heard. So this could still be a battle for quite a while, maybe. Of course, you know, you don't see kids – out west, coming to the south often. I mean, possibility he could have second thoughts in the future. Maybe want to stay closer to home. Especially that Utah visit to me is kind of a concern. Just being honest with the possibility he could get homesick and want to want to stay closer to home. Uh, but hopefully he'll keep his commitment. Hopefully come to Ole Miss is what I'm hoping for. Uh, but definitely. Excited about this commitment and pickup for Ole Miss for sure. Uh, what are y'all's thoughts and feedback and opinions and all that stuff as well, too, in the comments? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got to be honest with you. So if you can, just leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Would be greatly appreciated. See you guys in this video. Have a good one. And of course, hotty toddy.